We've been here open from 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock every day except Saturday, midday we close, Sunday we close all day to get some rest. When I was teaching at Makerere University in Uganda at the Marwood Travel School of Fine Art, staff meetings we'd talk about where we'd like to go if it wasn't Uganda. Everyone used to say Seychelles. I didn't know who, who they were talking about, where, where it was, or anything about it. But all I know is it was a place to come to in times of trouble or when you wanted a break from the hassle of teaching, which is pretty hard work. So eventually when I left Uganda, I then came to Seychelles. We had an architect friend and he said, uh, you can have my house for a rent. Uh, till you find something of your own. In the end we bought the house with a little bit of money. After people had been buying paintings, I had to work very hard in painting, painting for living. I've been here 51 years and I don't regret it. Half a century, oh my God. I'm with Heather, my wife. She steered us through good and bad times, coups, attempted coups, invasions of tourists. <laughs> God bless them. Without them, we'd be in trouble. The jungles here, um, very fertile, and so they're very lush to grow against rocks, 650 million year old granite rocks. A wonderful backdrop. If you want inspiration from the people here, you just yeah. Go to town and when you come to a zebra crossing, look in great detail at the people crossing the road. Then you have a cross section of the society and they're all wonderful. My children also take after me, luckily, they both paint. Uh, differently, uh, Alyssa in the same vein because she's a forest person and Tristan very much sea. I always tell my students and close friends, when you come to Seychelles, don't look for treasure, make it, that's it.